for either of you, for both of you, I guess, uh, what would work in your defense to address that? Ball pressure, um, when we're getting a venom, we're trying to stay, stay aggressive. Create turnovers, I think we forced 22 turnovers for them. Well, 21. So, um, you know, coming in, into this game, Coach Walls was talking about ball pressure. That was key for this game. We were trying to speed them up a little bit, and I think we did a good job doing that. Easy, you had the most minutes of anybody on a team tonight, so how is the ankle? What are you good shape for? It's good. Um, you know, one game at a time. Whenever, you know, my team and Coach Walls need me to do, I'll, I'll be glad to do that. So, um, you know, I'm just trying to take it one game at a time. You guys are one game away from a conference championship. Is that in the back of your head? Mm -hmm. More pressure added on the final game? Uh, no, I don't think so. We just got to keep coming out and playing basketball. Um, yes, this is a big thing for us. Uh, it's been a long time since we have won a conference championship. But we got to come out and play hard like we would do every day. Erica, you played a long time with that fourth foul out there. Was being a little bit cautious. Um, no, I feel like I kept playing hard. Um, I just had to kind of adjust to the ref, the refs and what they were calling. But I feel like I, I kept playing hard and did what my team needed to do. How frustrating was it for well for either one of you answer? How frustrating was it when you had some good looks? It seemed like they were going in and just bounced out or bounced away. I mean, it gets kind of frustrating, but you can't let that dictate you know how you play. You just gotta keep playing hard. You know, it's a team sport. But, uh, we had some great looks. We had some really good looks. And, uh, we'll be sure to knock those down on Sunday's game. A little bit of that Sunday. It's going to be a very special day for Maisha. Just your, your remembrances and your reflections on her over the years. Both of you, if you would. Um, it's been fun playing with Maisha. She's come a long way. Um, obviously, she didn't play as hard as she does now before. And it's been great to see her grow as a player. Especially me being here all four years with her, it's been great to see her grow. You know, I always hear the same thing that she said. You know, she's continued to get better and better as a player. Um, you know, I'm so excited for her and what her future holds. Um, she's very talented. She's a great person. You know, I'm just so excited for her. Erica, what, um, you know, coming in at that same time, where do you feel like she's grown the most, uh, Maisha? Um. Honestly, defensively, I think she's grown the most at running the floor. Uh, when she came in her freshman year, she didn't run hard all the time. She took control. And defensively, she did her defense. Like people were making up for her. And now I think she actually takes pride in it and will get down to guard. Uh, I guess in, her, in terms of her personality, too, where, where do you feel like she kind of came out of her shell? Or what helped her kind of come out of her shell? Um, just confidence from her coaches, knowing that her team will listen. Um, she's done a great job of trying to lead and actually speaking up before she wouldn't do that. But now she does speak up when something needs to be said and people will listen to her. Eric, in the last, the last three games, it just seems like you're a lot more confident in shooting the ball. Are you, are you more relaxed or um, is just my imagination? No, I think I am because of my teammates. Um, they just instilling confidence in me and telling me to knock it down and when you feel that vibe from your teammates it's, it's so much easier 